servant leader. Our district has recently adopted a standard that has been in action here at Ridgepoint for a while now. FBISD's profile of a graduate expresses that our students have a rigorous academic foundation, strong character, and are servant leaders within our schools and communities. Let's hear from Panthers who have already set an example. Uh, my name is Evelyn Velarde. I am a senior and I like to volunteer through uh, numerous organizations such as PALS, Student Council, and National Honor Society. On the weekends, I like to volunteer at Save Animal Rescue, which is at um, PetSmart. I help with animal adoption. I've always had a love for animals, and so when I was little, we'd always have an animal in the house. Um, my parents are very like big with helping animals, and my mom has also volunteered at Animal Rescues, which has interest has sparked my interest in volunteering. So um, throughout my childhood, we fostered um, dogs and stuff, and then I just wanted to continue that, like she did. I'm Maddie Severson, I'm a senior, and I'm interested in hanging out with my friends. I like running, I play guitar, and I like playing with my dogs. And I volunteer with DECA, National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, and with the SPCA of Houston. I think servant leadership really gives someone um, some a role, a role model to lead into. Um, it gives them an example to follow after, and it gives them kind of an outline of how they should try to present themselves in order to make themselves a better person, both for the benefit of themselves and their peers. And it allows you to kind of grow in a way whenever you do start student leadership because you realize what you enjoy and how you can help other people and how you can really benefit your place in the community. Um, well, growing up, I always saw a lot of stray dogs on the streets, and my family has always gotten our dogs from a litter, so I felt like I should put my part in and I should volunteer to something that I actually enjoy doing and working with animals and helping people find the perfect dog for them, and it's really fulfilling. Um, well, with Student Council and NHS, there's a bunch of things that you can do. I've worked at food pantries. Um, this summer, Student Council actually volunteered at a elderly home and we play bingo with them and there's just a bunch of things that you can go out into the community like I know a lot of people during Harvey volunteered their time to help take apart the houses that were affected and you can volunteer to donate food and there's so many things that you can do that it's not specific to one thing so make sure to start your sentence off with student council okay. but um, for this next one okay. but um, when you were volunteering like with student council is there a certain thing that you may have done like whether it's like helping the elderly or going to the food bank something that resonated with you or is there like a person you met that was really cool like do you want to describe that for me um when student council went to the elderly home this summer i thought it was really cool because we took the time out of our week when we went to leadership camp this summer and we decided instead of having free time like all the other schools, we were gonna go and volunteer and we met some older folks that don't normally get visitors and we actually met one of the ladies, like children, and they stopped us afterwards and they told us how grateful they were that we came and took time out of our days to go spend time with them because oftentimes they didn't have time to go and visit their parents that were in the home. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, um, one of the things I need you to do because you're in student council and everything, um, can you pretty much give like a cell line, like stress the fact that how important organizations like Key Club, student council, all that, it, like just pretty much. So, um, all of these organizations that help promote volunteering are super important, like Student Council, Key Club, um, NHS, because they're teaching you skills for life, but I think that they're the more important skills, such as giving your time to others, not because you want recognition, but just because it's important to do, because you're not only impacting your own life, you're impacting other people's lives. Um, I always go back and think about what happened during Harvey and the amount of work that we put in for those people because I know 
when Ike hit, our house was completely destroyed. And we were lucky enough to have people come and help us, like tear apart our homes. And it's crazy the amount of work that cost and the amount of money that cost. And so that since so many people went out and did that for free, the amount of money that we saved all those people, because they're already gonna have to spend thousands of dollars repairing their home. And just people need to remember that like this isn't for you, it's for them, and you're gonna feel so much better about yourself after yeah. you do it. Definitely, I think um, a lot of people don't realize how important it is to give back. Um, the last thing I'm gonna need is, um, I was wondering if you could, like is there, hmm, I'm out of place what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Hmm. I'll stop it for now. I'm Taylor Knight. I'm a senior at Ridgepoint. Um, three things that interest me. Uh, I am planning to go to UT to study psychology. Um, I love watching crime shows and I absolutely love to go and uh, hang out with my friends and stuff like that. So, um, I'm Lauren Burke. I'm at Ridgepoint. I'm a senior. Um, I love basketball. I love sports. Um, I like to draw and I like to volunteer in my community. Okay, um, I know that for me at my church, like I um, I like volunteer for like the special needs kids. You know, for, it's called Open Door. And it's at my church, and I teach Sunday school every week, and for and I do it every week. And during the summer, I stopped for like a couple weeks, and I would go every other week there. And I just felt myself like be so like such in like a bad mood on Sundays because I just wanted to go and like hang out with my little kiddos because they're really sweet. It's really it's healthy, you know, to kind of just get that fulfillment through being there for somebody else rather than just like going and like, you know, talking it out with your friends or talking to your friends about this. Like it's actually good to be like active and productive. Uh, like, I volunteer a lot at the school, but I also volunteer a lot outside of school. I'm in Fort Bend Teen Service League, which is basically an organization where you sign up and you get a sign up genius every so often and you can sign up for uh, different projects. One of the main ones that they do is the Fort Bend Rainbow Room, which um, deals with um, chicken babies. That one's really cool. They also have banquets and stuff like um, at here at Rich Point. They have banquets, so that one's really cool. Um, you can do as many um, service projects as you want. I think a girl last year did like 31, which is really crazy because it's like three-hour shifts every time. So she got a lot of those hours onto her YES programs, and there's a lot of organizations here at Rich Point that can give you hours for the YES organization. So if you think that, no, there's no possible way I can get these 100 hours, there's resources that you can get that can give you those hours. Literally, there are so many ways to volunteer. It doesn't matter if it's for an official organization or for a private organization, or if you're just doing something to help someone's family out. As long as you're benefiting someone else that isn't directly for the benefit of you, I think that's really great volunteer work. You can volunteer within the school. You can go on student council and help them. You can volunteer with any of the women's shelter in Houston. Those are really beneficial. I chose the animal shelter just because I, I wanted something that I also enjoy. So if you can find an interest that you enjoy and fulfill that, that's really amazing. A lot of people go out and they plant trees. Um, a lot of people help the children in our church community. There are so many ways that you can reach out. So. Um, with volunteering, it's super easy to sign up. Like, There's a second mile mission down off, I forget what highway it is, but it's super easy. You fill out a form when you get there. If they're not super busy, you can go and volunteer. I know student council is always looking for people to come and volunteer. Last year, we actually did a program where we raised money for two kids in Kenya to have an education, and we're always looking for people to help us donate with that. Um, all of these organizations like Key Club, Student Council, they're all super easy to get into and we're always looking for more members for the people that want to volunteer. Um, yeah, they can volunteer like a lot by joining clubs at our school that have service projects and also just going out in the community and seeing what people need. Make sure to find the time to prioritize the needs of others, remain humble and optimistic, and strive to bring out the best in others. Remember, FBISD exists to inspire and equip 
all students to pursue futures beyond what they can imagine.